oh my God, we have we have someone bold who wants to join the hot seat. <laughs> How do you pronounce your name properly? Um, I just go by a pseudo name. <laughs> What's the pseudo name? Give me the name. Amari. Amari. Mari, thank you so much. What's your question, dear? I don't you're have brave. I just wanted to say thank you for everything you're doing for all of us. And everything resonates with me, and you really helped me a lot. I, I'm not in a relationship now. I ended it. Okay. But I sure thank you because you helped me through the process. I just wanted to say thank you. Well, you're welcome. So are you willing to brave enough? Why did you end, share with us why did you end the relationship? Um, By the way, I got to post this up. Yes, horny women exist that take care of themselves and feel healthy. That includes a healthy libido. Amen. I'm just, amen. by the way, folks, I'm a guy. Okay, really quickly, Mari, just let me interrupt for a second because I'm going to talk to everyone. I'm just, I'm a real guy. I'm horny. What can I say? Okay. Why'd you break up with him? He had some habits that I couldn't accept. And what kind of habits? Um, addictions, not drugs, <laughs> but uh, he had some addictions that I just couldn't deal with. Are and you willing to tell us what the addictions were? I guess so. I just don't want to use any names because I want to try to keep it private and be respectful. Okay. Addicted to porn. And oh my gosh. Real bad. You know, <laughs> so, so. Well, let's play with this one for a second. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about porn addiction for a second. By the way, I want to thank Roller Girl for the $1.99 super sticker. Thank you so much. So, um, how old was he, by the way? Uh, in his 60s. Okay. Do you know how long of a period of time he might not have had sex in his life? Well, he was married for a very long time, four decades. Okay, and then that relationship ended. So let's, yeah. okay, so most likely the last three decades out of four, he wasn't getting laid, okay? Yeah, he had a bad marriage and she wasn't able or, or just didn't like it. Okay, and so I'm he, so just understand, his addiction to porn was we all need a physical release. You yeah. ladies get to use a vibrator. We have to stroke it out, okay? <laughs> and what happens is, is when you become so dependent upon that visual stimulation to get an erection. And then what happens with a lot of men is we, we, we literally have to have a gorilla grip to get ourselves off, okay? It can, what happens is it becomes our primary source for emotional release. And I'm, I'm guilty of this. Look at, I, I, you know, I looked at porn a couple of weeks ago, you know, I'm by myself. I'm not addicted to it because I'd like to have a physical partner in my life. Okay. With that said, it's like any addiction, sugar. Sugar is like the number one form of addiction, by the way. That's our number one addiction in the United States is sugar. I think okay. Comes in there pretty close too. What, what comes close? Caffeine, coffee. <laughs> Caffeine, coffee, alcohol, drugs. And then you got porn because it's, but you have to understand the emotional components of going what's going on. Now, that's I, how did the addiction affect your relationship? Like, I want to know why it affected your relationship. Well, and I don't, he came by it honestly, obviously, because he was lonely and needy. And he really was a great guy. Okay. Um, he became process addicted. So, you know, in other words, that was a stepping stone to fruition and his whoa, whoa 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 i'm a little confused process of addictive i don't know what that means and it's kind of a label that we put on um a person that needs to follow a certain process to be successful in climax yes okay so well you know as, as i'm hearing that i would say that i have i'm going to be candid with you okay because this is the way i operate so I would say in physical intimacy, there are certain things that help me get off and, and there's a process to that, okay? Sure. Sure. Um, thankfully, I've had partners that go, that's not a big issue for me. I'm like, I have no problem helping you in that way. So right. why is that a problem, that process? Because it leads to ED. And so the person, at least in my experience with yeah. this, and from others that I've talked to is that it leads to ED. So in other words, they can't be a good lover 
Um, because- well, did he use a blue? P- By the way, I'm on a blue pill. Was he on a blue pill? Um, yes. Okay. Well, by the way, I have erectile dysfunction. It doesn't work the way it did when I was 20. You ladies that your vaginas don't get lubricated like you see. You use lubrication. We use other things. Okay. So what's wrong? Like, I mean, most men in their 60s have ED. So why don't you go a step further? What was really happening? I don't know. I think that I think that was the issue. And I just and I think the other thing was he was lying to me about it. Okay. Um, By the way, folks, yeah. if my dick doesn't work, my tongue gets really hard, by the way. Um, I mean, we can give oral sex that can be pleasurable. So, okay. So he, he was lying about it. What was he lying about? Just that he, he said he gave it up. And gave what up? I said to him, I said, oh, the pornography. Up. And you can't be hooked on it for 14 years without help. And he really wanted to be serious and move forward with me. But I knew if you're addicted to something for 14 years, how do you how do you just give it up cold turkey? He obviously needed some assistance. And I didn't want to make him do was this really was this the real reason why you broke up with them? I mean, yeah, um, the other reason huh? why I had a family that was super overbearing. So okay. Okay, now that sounds more like it. You didn't like the finance. Because here's the thing. Couples that, I know so many couples that men and women in their 60s, or excuse me, 70s, that still, look at, one of the guys has to use a injection into his penis to get hard, okay? And they still have sex once a week, but he has to buy, you know, he has to get an injection. Like, this is the shit we men go through. Right. Um. An overbearing family. That sounds more challenging to navigate. Yeah. They were almost like cult-like. And I have a big family too. I'm Italian. You know, <laughs> I have a very big close family, but I don't in I don't let that life impose on my dating life. If I'm going on a date, I wouldn't let them interrupt me unless it was an emergency or you yeah. know, if I had plans with my with my gentleman. I wouldn't, uh, you know, take calls. I just think it's disrespectful. I turn off that phone when I'm on a date. No, I mean, by the way, Mari, I, I just want to say something. I understand your choice, you know, of, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm receiving what you're saying. If it sounds like I gave you pushback on that piece of, you know, is I'm just here to offer some understanding as to why this happens instead of judging the person for the, you know, for having the need for that type of stimulant and to be secretive about it. I'm just drawing attention that there are valid reasons for him why he operates that way. I can also understand, huh? I said he was a wonderful person, but I gave him. How long did you two date? How long did you two date? About a year. Oh, about a year. Okay. So what did you, how did you actually break up with him? Give us that nugget. How did you break up with him? I just kept it classy. I kept it classy and simple. And I told him I was very sad, but I, and I, and I, he knew why, you know, and I reviewed it at the end and just said, I appreciate you for your time. And, but it's just not something I'm willing to, to, to tolerate. I, you know, I was married forever. I've been widowed a yeah. couple times. And so I just, I just, I'm looking for someone that's stable, steady, you know, um, good, fun, shares the same values as me, I guess. Wants so, ste- I, first I, off, I, I, steady, fun. What'd you say? Steady, fun, stable. Um, what else do you say? Humor. You know, likes What's that? To golf, likes to golf, likes to likes to have okay. fun. Okay. So likes- there's a million men that fit that category. <laughs> they are out there. But Jonathan, I have no chemistry with them. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, this is where we get hung up. By the way, I just want to go back and acknowledge first. Uh, a grown-up man should choose you over pornography. I just want to say that. It's to me, vagina is so much better than my right, my left hand. Excuse right. me. Okay. Vagina is just a hundred times better. Okay. Yeah. I want to just acknowledge that. Yeah. It made me and sad. I understand. Good guy. Pardon me. I said it makes me sad because he really was a good guy. 
Yeah, you know, it, it's 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 hard for a lot of guys. So I and it sounds like you did it in a classy way. Classy. How did he how did he take it? Terrible. Oh, really? Talk to me about that. Well, he asked me to marry him and and I said no. And um I just I just it just bothered me. You know, yeah. my nervousness and my angst, my anxiety about is he watching? I didn't want to be the porn police. And I don't want to yeah. Controlling woman, I. If you don't have trust, and if your gut tells you something's wrong, your gut almost never fails you. <laughs> so, yeah. at least in, for me, if my gut felt funny, something was funny, and it just it really bothered me to not have trust. Yeah, you know? no, I get it. I mean, look at that's why it's called dating because you know what it yeah. used to be called. Do you know what it used to be called? No. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. It is insane trying to figure out another human being. They didn't right. like that. So they changed the word to dating. Okay. Yes. Um, so where do you go forward now? I am not dating anybody. I think I just want to get a dog. <laughs> okay. So you're going to go a dog, a vibrator. You're going to go lesbian by any chance? No, I mean, is that? No. Okay. Okay. Well, I, just I, curious. A break because you get burned out and these online things are just... I just want to give myself a break. I think for me, I was I married got it. forever. And so I just, so, kind of, I'm shocked. I'm in shock. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm actually going to hold space for you right now. Okay. To attract in a juicy, delicious, healthy, happy relationship. I am going to hold space <laughs> that you can actually attract this in your life where you have amazing chemistry with one another and the communication and the banter is so wonderful. And you can blend your lives together doing the fun things you like to do, whether it's pickleball, skiing, uh, going to the movies, whatever it is. I invite that in where you can blend lives together and you share the same values with one another and you have the emotional maturity to build the deep roots of trust with one another through social activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, yes. teamwork, building skills, both in your professional life, intimacy, real intimacy, not with pornography, <laughs> where you can be physically and emotionally connected with one another. And I hold space for you. And I invite you to hold that space as well. I invite you to say to yourself, it's raining great men. It's raining great men. It is raining great men. God, universe, spirit, I hold this in for Mari, whatever her true name is. I hold that space for you. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thanks again for all you do for all of us. We love oh, you. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Thank you for <laughs> allowing me to share with you tonight. Thank big hugs to you. Sending Thank you big hugs. All right. So Mari was brave and shared something really important. Sadly, porn addiction is plagues us men. I got to tell you something. It's easy to get attached to it because that visual stimulation, trust me, it's not the same as the real thing, as you know, and I certainly know this, but I, I'm not, I'm not immune to it. I'm also the where of the why. And for some men, they've been doing it for so long. It is truly hard for them to disconnect from that. I don't judge them for that. I know many of you want to judge men for that. Okay. I get it. You can judge men, but believe me, you ladies are no fucking picnic either. Okay. I know some women are addicted to their vibrators and they can't get off, you know, without a vibrator. And that would suck for us guys that really want to try to make you get off. With that said, Mari had a couple issues. One is obviously the porn addiction, certainly the family. It sounds to me she ended it and did her best to consciously uncouple. Unfortunately, he was attached to her. He wanted something more. It probably emotionally devastated him. But she's on her journey. Now, she can choose to go the dog route, which many people do. I get it. But I hold space for all of you. And I said to you this earlier, it's, it's not for the faint of heart who want to be in relationship. You have to really want it and then shift that mindset that it's actually possible. And for her and for everyone else, I say it's genuinely possible to attract a juicy, delicious, healthy, happy relationship. It's raining great men and women. It's raining great men and women. It's raining great men and women. Ah. Hey, I want to hear your thoughts on what I just shared. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear what you have to say. And if you liked what I just shared, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to connect with me, if you want to coach, 
then check out the link below to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. All right. Let's see who's got questions. Uh, Annika said, there's nothing like being with a person, just my opinion. A fucking men. Uh, Power of Chi says, Jonathan, there's a documentary about sex dolls on YouTube. There was a lady that accepted a date, accepted dating a man who had two sex dolls. After some time, she couldn't compete. I got to tell you, I, I can understand why a lot of guys, look at, I can understand. That's a hard one. I don't know. There's, the, 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 there's, there's vibrators for ladies and there's, um, what's it? Uh, dildos and there's uh, fake penises and stuff like that. I mean, look at what the world's come to. Um, bum, 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 bum. Ray of Sunshine says, I don't use a vibrator. Good for you. Well, I guess that's good. Is that good for you? I don't know. Do you use your finger instead? I don't know. <laughs> Debbie wants to acknowledge Mari is classy. I think, by the way, she was a sweet gal. We have to give her a lot of props. Mo Montana Mystic says, Mari, you're so pretty with that smile. She did have a beautiful smile. 